Nothing will save you more time in Excel than learning the shortcut keys. A really quick way of putting totals and subtotals onto a table of numbers is the shortcut key, Alt equals. Alt equals, pick up everything above and you can hit enter. But what if we had filtered the data and just had a few on there? That will give you necessarily the wrong answer. But again, if you use the shortcut key on filtered data, it automatically detects you want a subtotal nine, which will only sum, sum what is showing. So there you go. If you want to go straight to a particular type of cell format, there's some great shortcut keys. So first off, general number format is control and the squiggly line. Right. Number format, control shift one, straight off. Percent, control shift five percent. Currency, control shift four, and that will put up whatever your default currency is for your version of Excel. And this one I love, it is the date, which is control and hashtag. And there you go. Here's some great date and time shortcuts. First off, today's date, control semicolon. There you go. Today's time right now, control shift semicolon. What if you want them both in the same cell? No problem. Control semicolon, put a space, control shift semicolon, off you go. Recognizes it as a date and time. Simple but very useful shortcut here indeed. Say I'm a bit slap happy and I mistakenly delete all of those values. All I need to do is control Z for undo. Control Z for undo. Now if I decide actually I did want to do that, after all, redo is control Y. So that's undo, control Z, redo, Control Y. There's two ways of making an instant chart in Microsoft Excel. Firstly, highlight the area that you want to chart. First shortcut, Alt F1, gives you an instant chart in the same sheet. Secondly, highlight the area you want, F11 on its own, a new chart in a new sheet. Once you've got this chart, you can change the design and the format and even the chart type using the standard toolbar buttons in Excel. I don't like the format of the sales numbers on this sheet. Highlight that. Control one brings up the format sales box. Whatever's highlighted at this time, so which is the dotted line around number, you can see there arrow keys move between the various tabs tab moves between the various boxes so we can say we want a number move on number of decimal places zero use the comma separator you can see the letter u is underlined hit the letter u you can see the ok button is highlighted so we can just hit enter on that Oh, I wanted something else done. Control one. I want some kind of ridiculous uh, font color. So I'm going to go right. Tab, 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 tab. Font down. Whatever font color I want. How about bright green? Black. Selected. Tab again, okay, off we go. You can insert and delete rows and columns using shortcut keys. Click on any row and Control Shift equals will bring up an option to insert an entire row, entire column, or any combination. So if we say an entire row, there we go. But also, if we use shift space to highlight the row in advance, then control shift equals will simply just insert that row immediately. If we want to insert a column then, control space will highlight the whole column and control shift equals will then do that. 
and whilst the column is highlighted control minus will remove it if it wasn't highlighted control minus will again bring up the option as to what it is exactly we want to delete i'm going to cancel that with escape same with the row if we highlight the row shift space or in fact even if we highlight two rows shift space control minus both get deleted data and formula entry shortcuts can save you a whole host of time so first up fill down if i put this formula in here for the profit percentage highlight the area i want that formula control d fill down excellent right even better perhaps flash fill so say i want the first name in this column all i need to do is type in the first name there alicia and then control e and it will recognize whatever pattern it thinks it's recognized fill all the way down the column isn't that great bulk entry then so I want to put a formula in here but first I know it's all going to go down through there so then I type equals then for the formula link there and uh, control enter and in it goes across the entire range right fill across control R profit percentage this direction profit divided by sales highlight across there control R there you go Auto filter is a brilliant command. Click anywhere on the sheet, Control Shift L, filters appear. Normally you can click on these and do whatever you like, but if you click in the header, Alt and the down arrow will bring that up manually and you can scroll around and do untick or tick any you like. Now, let's say we've unticked them all apart from regular air and on here we picked a particular customer name but say we now just want to go to another customer well if we go on there again alt down and then just hit the letter c we clear that particular columns filter and if we want to click them all we can always do Control shift l to get rid of all filters or put them back on again straight afterwards To navigate around an Excel sheet without a mouse, use the arrow keys with either Control or Shift, depending on what you want to do. So Control up moves to the top of your selection, Control right to the end of it, Control down, Control left, Control up again. But if you hold down Shift, you highlight as you go. Control to the right, highlights to the right, Control down, highlights everything down, control left, highlights back up there, and then control up in this case would do that. Now, if you are outside of data areas and you do this, control right will take it all the way to the end of the spreadsheet, and control left will take you to the nearest data, and that works in all directions. Control down, control up, again, control up. Also, if you hit control home, you'll go to the top left of the spreadsheet and control end will go to the last populated cell on the spreadsheet. But will also, if a cell has previously been populated, it will also highlight that. Again, control shift home will highlight to there. And then you can then go control shift left, control shift down to highlight that area. Once you've done control home, you can also do control end to get everything highlighted. I hope you found something new in amongst all those shortcut keys. I've pulled together this one page cheat sheet of all the everyday essential Excel shortcuts. I'm giving this away today completely free. Just click on the link and I'll send you this straight away. Don't waste any more time in Excel. Get this free cheat sheet right now. Click the link.